Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a weekly vlog. So in this video, if you do, please give a thumbs up and subscribe and let's get on into it. So today what I'm actually doing is I'm filming my personal project for college, which is like, what I'm doing is it's like a film so I get to act. I'm also, I've said, not to boost my own trumpet, but I'm going to for a second. So I've had to direct it, write it, edit it and act in it and cast it, all of it. And we're filming it basically today, like one of the scenes, and it's nearly finished. I've got this scene and I've got next week a last scene which I need to film. And then I've basically finished it and then I just got to edit it. And I'm actually so excited about it because I like I'm actually really happy with how it's turned out. Like I feel like I'm actually like really happy with how it is. So that's what I'm basically doing today. I'm gonna be filming that and I'm basically gonna go and get a McDonald's um for my lunch because I don't really want to make anything at home and I might as well if I'm already in town like I might as well go and get McDonald's. I will show you my outfit for my filming day. I don't know what's happening with the lights today. Like what is that? Okay basically I'm gonna do a little OOTD so I've got the this is basically my film outfit so that's why I've got no earrings in no necklace on or anything so I've got this brown sweatshirt on and then I've also gone this is from H&M and then I've gone and paired it with some Stradivarius ASOS jeans I really love these I don't know what size they're in I think this is a small and this is six because they're the same as the beige jeans and then I've also got the black Adidas trainers on as well with it and that is my outfit of the day <laughs> just finished filming. I'm now waiting to be picked up, so I'm just doing some shopping. I'm basically doing my college work right now. Please ignore the mascara that has fallen underneath my eyes. I need to get a new mascara because it keeps on falling underneath. Talk about the filming now. We went out and filmed today. We were filming in a tunnel because like there was no caves near me, so I've done it in a tunnel instead because it's supposed to be like inside a cave. So we went there today and the filming went good actually. I managed to get all of the scene 12 that I've, because I've done uh, 12 scenes and I managed to film them all, uh, not all, 12 scenes. I managed to film the scene that I wanted to film. Now I've only got one scene left to film, which is great, but I'm just doing my website, which is like towards like my grade. Look at this. And there's just so much that like, I'm trying to make it look nice, but like obviously I've never made a website before. It's like a performing arts type of website. Yeah, so basically I'm doing the website right now, but I'm procrastinating by filming this because I'm like, oh, yes, yes, yes. Sorry, it worked, it actually worked. I'm gonna have like a little sleep. Right, okay, so yeah, that looks good. Right guys, this is coming along. Let me show you. So I'll show you, I won't really show you, but like this is basically what I've been doing. Physically, I've just been for the last three hours just doing that, and I haven't even finished it. But I'm probably gonna watch Love Island now because Josh has come into it, and I'm like, I'm so behind, so I need to watch it. So I'm probably gonna do that now. Speak to you again tomorrow because I'm going to watch a pantomime. Guys, I'm just about to go to college. I'll show you an outfit of the day. It's very simple, and also, if I don't leave now, I'm gonna be late. This is my outfit of the day. Pretty Little Thing hoodie, the Leisure Leisure one, and then grey joggers also from Pretty Little Thing, and then I have white socks on which are from Primark, and then I will put on some black trainers which are from Adidas, and yeah, let's go. And also my Pretty Little Thing coat which is the bomber jacket. <laughs> Hey girls, um, I'm so excited, right? So I'm gonna just include this bit in this video because... So basically, I'm waiting for this order to arrive for about two weeks, right? And I had been waiting, 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 waiting. And then my mum came up this morning and was like, yeah, your white fox hoodie's here. And I was like, what? And then she said it was behind the bin. It's been behind the bin for about a, probably like a week or something. And I didn't think they'd sent it to me. I thought it was completely gone. I was like, I'm never going to get that hoodie ever. So I've got it and I thought I would open it on the camera and show you what it looks like. Because we might as well. So here we go. Here's the bag. I have just finished filming a crown haul. That's why I'm in this little outfit as well. Oh, it looks a nice colour. Okay. I'm actually so excited. Right, so this is the colour of the jumper. I am really right. I'm so praying so much that this fits 
But then I'm like, I did not spend this much for it not to fit and have to go through that much chaos of not knowing if it's arriving and stuff like that for it not to get hit. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Right. Oh my goodness, it's got my box. I am gonna be that girl. I am so excited. I'm actually like, it's got vol, vol I've been really struggling today. It's got volume white fox written on the back of it and then it's got white fox volume three written there and I'm gonna try it on now. And I got it in a size small to medium because I wanted it to, to be like quite oversized and like that's kind of the vibe that I was going for. I've never ordered off a of white fox before but I just keep on seeing everyone with their white fox hoodies and I was like, I want one. So I had to get one. Fits. It's really quite comfortable though. Like I can imagine myself wearing it. It is quite boxy, I would definitely say. So I don't know if next time I'll probably get an extra small to a small. But I did want it to be oversized, but it is like kind of like like boxy with the jumper. Like but like see that like this. So this isn't part of part of my album. My arm ends there. It's got like excess bit, but it is very thick material. Like this is the material that it is. And I really love the colour of it. Like the colour, I'm probably gonna wear it tonight because I really want to. I'm literally just going to move you up and then I can literally show you. So this is what the White Fox hoodie looks like. Obviously, I'm not going to wear it with the brown joggers. Obviously not. But like, this is what the back of it looks like. It says White Fox on the back of it. And I'm just, I'm obsessed, actually. Like, I'm wearing it more and I'm becoming even more obsessed with it. Like, it just looks... Yes, I'm actually so happy. I'm like, thank goodness I don't have to return it or anything. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's so comfortable. Oh my goodness, there's no pocket. There's no pocket. Sorry? That's probably why it looks boxy. That makes so much sense now. It makes so much sense. There's no pockets. There is no pocket. What? That's mad. I didn't even realize that there's no pocket on this hoodie. Where do my hands go? How am I, what type of hoodie? Obviously I'm gonna keep it, but like what on earth? There's no pockets? I've never had a hoodie where there's no pockets. That's such a weird thing. It's like a sweatshirt, but then it's got a hood on it. I'll just show you what the hood looks like because my hair's already a mess anyway. So this is what the hood looks like. It's a very basic, the hood is not too big actually. It's quite like a average size hood. No pockets, which is a little bit of a pain, but I do really like this hoodie and I definitely want to get some more colors of it. Basically, I'm going to come and sit right down on the floor because I want to. So I'm basically going to watch a pantomime tonight because my, like theatre group that I used to be with are doing a production and this is my last, this is my first show watching and not actually being in it, which is a bit mad for me because I'm gonna be like feeling so like, I'm gonna have so much FOMO, like I'm already feeling like I'm gonna have FOMO anyway, but the point that I'm going to watch it, like they had a show yesterday and I'm like, oh, I'm not in it. Obviously not because I was like, I need to do like drama school stuff and stuff like that and I was like, I can't be in this show, but I'm going to watch Aladdin, the pantomime. So I haven't been to a pantomime in like two years because like last year I was just in it and I wasn't, I didn't watch one. I was just in the pantomime. <laughs> yeah, so I haven't watched a pantomime in like two years. So I'm really quite excited to watch it. It'll be fun to see everyone and like see how everyone is and what they've got up to. So yeah, I think what I'm going to wear is I'm going to wear this. I'm going to wear my cargos. I'm going to wear black Adidas trainers and my hair up. And then that's basically an outfit check ready. I really love this hoodie. and I've got a blue one and I feel like if I'm going to be wearing this one like consistently. I'm going to be that girl. I'm just going to wear my white fox hoodie and be like, I'm going to have my Stanley Cup. I actually have a Stanley Cup. I have like a... Instead of a Stanley Cup, I have a Gymshark bottle, which I feel like still matches with the aesthetic. It's not like it's like... I don't know, a plastic one. Like I've got like the Gymshark bottle with my white fox hoodie, my hair out. I feel like I look like an it girl, which is the vibe that I'm going for. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get ready now. Guys, I've just come back from, oh my goodness, the state of my room. I will speak to you here. I've just come back from watching Aladdin. It was so good. I actually forgot to film there because I was just like speaking to everyone because I hadn't seen them in like a few months. So I was just like speaking and I completely forgot to actually vlog, but I will put some pictures on the screen of like what it looked like. It was so good. Like I thoroughly enjoyed it. So um, I'll speak to you again tomorrow or like whenever I'm actually doing something entertaining again. I've got my driving test on Tuesday, which is a bit scary. So fingers crossed that after I film this, I will then have passed my driving test, hopefully. So guys, what I'm actually gonna be doing today is I'm going to college. And then after that, I'm then gonna be going to watch the new Mean Girls film, which I'm really excited about. I've been seeing like mixed reviews on the whole situation because I really love World Burn, which is like the song that Renee Rapp sings. I've been hearing like, people not liking like what the actual film is like. So it's gonna be interesting to actually see what it's like. <laughs> it's got James in it. Empty. And then empty. 
Potential. Empty cinema. Empty it's just cinema. It's, it's my reserved for us. Yeah, right. literally. Like, there, it's just a screening for us for watching the Mean Girls. And then, James. And then have. James, yeah. He's just enjoying life. It's just vibrant. It. This is what happens when we take a cinema at this time. This is what it happens is. when sure. us two want to go but watch the cinema. Everyone, everyone just clears face. and moves out the way because they're like, their plans. yeah, because they know that we. Are coming to the cinema. Day. Yeah, exactly. Facts. We're just such big celebrities. We are. Everyone just clears on the way for us. <laughs> so, guys, I've just come back from watching the film. I actually thought it was really good. Like, I really enjoyed it. It was like, it was kind of what I thought it was gonna be. Like, some people, if you don't really like musicals, you probably won't like it. But I do like musicals, so like all of the songs were good in it. And obviously, it was cool to see there, like how they've taken, like the musical songs and they've made them like pop songs and put them in the film and also it was quite good how it was like our generation because I was a bit like mm, don't know what this is going to be like because obviously like it's going to be different to the 2000 ones because it's filmed at a different time and like the generations have like changed like just don't compare it to the 2004 one because that's what I keep on doing and then I was like oh wait no just view it as a different film because it is and it's like completely like a new type of vibe i would just say watch it so then you can get your own judgment on it but obviously if you don't like musicals you might not like it but yeah i thought it was good but basically i'm going out with my friend later on and we're going to pizza express and then we're going bowling and you know tib like we all love tib that's that's who i'm going out with so yeah that's what i'm doing now <laughs> guys i'm actually gonna end the video here but i really enjoyed showing you like what i got up to in my week so i hope you enjoyed watching it if you did please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe and thanks for watching bye